Oh my god, I'm so nervous. How do I look? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. And welcome to my new set or my new background. I don't know what to call it. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know this is a new background and I love it so very freaking much. We're going to talk about it more in the video. I hate, I hate, hate my tacky old background and it was driving me into a deep sea of depression. So for my second year anniversary with Alok, he redid my background for me. Well, I picked it all out, but he paid for it anyway. And it is like everything my heart could ever just want. I love it so much. So I'm gonna talk about all that adorable stuff back there. And also the reason why I've been gone for two weeks. And thank you guys if you are here today. I know I've been the worst creator this past year. I've been awful, but I'm feeling better. I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I am so sick of myself not being here. Anyway, the past two weeks weren't meant to happen. The first week was because I was redoing my whole freaking room actually. And then the second week was a really shitty week. Bad stuff all around. So we're gonna talk about that in this video, but it's light and cheery and fun and airy. It's not all so heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, we're doing that, playing with some new makeup that I have. Don't know how I feel about this look, but I love the makeup that I use to create the look. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. This is a long ass video just because I missed you. I love you guys and yeah, enjoy this look. I clearly have been gone for so long because I was just talking and doing my video and it wasn't even filming. Let me just say, I just put on some of my e.l.f. Uh, CBD oil on my skin. My face feels a little dry right now just with the weather change. Okay, I'm going to zoom you beautiful bitches in because I miss you. I missed you guys so, so much. I was like, fucking hell. Okay, let's do the eyebrows. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty um, Bomb Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil. This is in the shade number five, Medium Brown. I've not used this yet. So what on earth have you guys been up to? How have you been? Uh, I have been gone for two weeks. The second week was unintentional. So let me give you a little update. Obviously, the first week I've been gone was 100% dedicated to my room. I was so sick and literally depressed from the background of my videos. I have had that tacky, horrible, and if you... I should rephrase this. I should rephrase this. Marble is a beautiful thing, and a lot of people love marble, and it is gorgeous. I don't identify with marble any longer, okay? I'm probably because I've been on YouTube for so long when like every beauty guru in the world discovered marble and it's all we ever wanted. Marble everything. We were marble crazy. So just since the beginning of my YouTube channel, I've always gravitated. Oh my God, my laptop's dying. This is a little too warm for me, but we're just gonna go with it. Yeah, I was sick of the friggin' marble and the, the fake house plant and the Christmas bulbs that I had left up from last year because I was so out of my mind depressed from quarantine. I would just look at it, I'd be filming, I'd be editing my videos and I was so uninspired, I was so dull. I just felt so just, ew, I hate that freaking setup. And I had been complaining to Alok about it for literally the longest time. So for our wedding anniversary, we went back to our venue, which by the way, can I just say, if you are planning on getting married anytime soon, if you can choose a venue that you're able to revisit every year, it's like the best thing you can do. Um, we got married at, uh, did I say it already, Terrain. It's this gorgeous little, it's an interesting place because it's a little shop, but it also has a cafe and it happens to have a, like a wedding venue in the back of it. It is very interesting and amazing. <laughs> if you have one near you and you haven't gone, I strongly recommend it. It's just so nice to be able to like, I feel like at a, like if you got married at like say a banquet hall, it would be weird for you to just show up every year on your wedding anniversary. They might be busy, you know? So it's nice that we can go back to terrain and we can shop and we can have lunch and it's the cutest little thing. So anyway, I'm getting there, I promise. Um, most of this stuff came from terrain where we got married. And the best part is, is I've talked about this before, uh, the venue, Someone at the venue, mind you, if you haven't seen my bouquet, go to Instagram because I have a thousand pictures of my wedding and I literally never post anything else because it, I'm sorry, but it was so pretty in my opinion. <laughs> I think someone thought my actual bouquet was a wedding decoration 
and at the end of the night they threw it out we called the next morning and they didn't have it anymore I forgot my bouquet you know how it goes I was drinking and dancing and next thing I know I forgot my bouquet so I've been devastated for the longest time and my bouquet had basically all of this in it it had pompous grass it had all the pretty little what do they call them like cattails or cottontails or those little fluffy things and in all of our wedding floral decor it had all of that stuff in it from terrain alok was so sweet he planned the best anniversary surprise ever he chose to redo my background for me because he knew how much I hated it. And not only that, he planned our little trip to terrain and then he got me all the stuff I wanted that was in my wedding bouquet that I don't have anymore. So it's just, it, it's nothing but happiness when I look back there and it just fills my little heart with joy. And it, it was the most thoughtful gift I've ever, I've ever received. Next, I'm also taking the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Full in Fluffy Fiber Gel. This is tinted. I'm not a fan of tinted brow gels. I'm also not a fan of fiber brow gels. So we're not going into this strong. Um, looks like this. Having said all that, I do want it known that Huda Beauty, I've thought about this long and hard. Huda Beauty is my favorite brand. It just is. I love Huda Beauty. Everything I love. I love everything. I really, really do. I think everything is just such good quality. I love the products. I love the eyeshadow formula. I love the foundation. I love the cream products, like her cream browns, uh, bronzers. I like that this is kind of dr a drier formula. I, for the longest time, oh my god, I opened my window and one fly got in and I can't effing get it. It is sheer torture. I like this brow gel though. I'm not gonna lie, I really like it. All right, next, we're getting into foundation. This is by Lawless. I've never used Lawless before. I know nothing about them. I guess maybe it, oh my god oh it's like super wet oh my god and this is not the right shade at all this is a major goof i'm gonna put it on and see how it looks i have a little self tanner on right now so maybe it'll be okay this is very well oh it's one of those i can hear the little bead yeah so anyway the first week was fully dedicated to redoing this background when you look at this you might think like that took you a freaking week but you probably can't tell but I'm not in the same spot at all that I used to film. I used to film way over there. I made my new little setup here. I put this wallpaper on. The wallpaper's from Target. Everything. Oh and the desks. I had to go find two desks. I found these brown ones. I was like oh I tweeted one day. I was like where can I find some white desks because I've been trying to avoid shopping off Amazon as much as possible. I'm going to take my Sigma Beauty 40 HD Kabuki brush. I'm trying to find something dense enough uh, for such a wet foundation. I'm hoping this works out. So anyway, I had to remove, break down my old set, the wallpaper, everything, all the junk I had over there. I had to get rid of three desks in total. I at one point had four desks in here. One behind me for filming, one in front of me that I would set my things on, and then I had two others against the wall for like storage and craft and everything. Oh, this is lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, this will be fine. It looked really yellow on my hand. It's very, very light, like, like water. It smells makeup-y. Not like fragrancy, but like makeup. Do you know what I mean? Think of like, um, like a Maybelline clean and clear foundation. Do you guys remember those? Or maybe it was CoverGirl. Those really liquidy ones, it smells exactly like that. Anyway, so it took several days for us to break down all of the furniture, get it out, but not only that, to organize, to take it, to donate, and then also I sold the desk because they were, you know, in pretty great condition. Um, two of them were like brand new and, you know, trying not to create crazy waste here. So how to get rid of the desks and a ton of other stuff. I went through boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of makeup to see what could be donated, what could be removed, what is probably expired, what I need to just throw out. It was a big job. I literally could not even tell you how big the job was. So blah, 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 blah. It's boring, but it took, I rearranged this whole room several freaking times just to try to fit two desks against this wall here. Um, and also to keep one area where I used to film for my crafting. I think I've told you guys, unless it was just on Twitter, that I'm opening an Etsy store soon of some handmade goods from myself. People have asked me for a long time, not people, but I, I've gotten comments here. So I'm like, people want this so bad. They don't. I've had a few comments of people asking why I don't sell merch or anything like that. I've thought about it a hundred times. I have had things drawn up and like graphics made several times. And by the time it gets for me to put it on the website, put it online, 
I don't want to. I don't like it. I feel weird about it. I don't know. You know, it's like no one needs my merch. It's so silly. That girl Shay merch. Like no one needs that. So I just, it wasn't me. You know what I mean? Having said that, can I just point out, by the way, this does not apply to all creators. Nicole Concilio's merch is the coolest I have ever seen. I'm so in love with her. You have no idea. I hope she never sees this because that'll be really weird. But her stuff is so freaking cute. I want it all. Every time she shows new merch, I am drooling. She has the cutest stuff. But so I say that because it's just a me thing, but please know that there is great merch out there and hers is like top tier in my opinion. I actually don't know if I know a better merch than, than Nicole's. This foundation is nice. It's very lightweight. I'm gonna have to see how it sits and how I like it. I will say for someone who really likes full coverage, I tend to be going back to the bottle a lot because <laughs> that didn't sound right. I've done a few more squirts than, Let's try and get through this. I've gone back for more product a few more times than I would normally with the other foundations I use. Anyway, I'm opening an Etsy shop with a bunch of stuff that I am making myself that I love to death. And so I needed to keep a desk in here for when I'm doing my little, my little craftings. Um, I was hoping to open in October because I have some super amazing, spooky little pretty goodies. But I don't think it's going to be ready by then. I want to make sure like everything is perfect before it gets into your hands. So that was all good and well. And I thought I would take that week, get that all done, get that all set up, and then get back to filming. Well, the weekend after that, Alok and I went to Philly for restaurant week. And we were meeting my friends there. We just had dinner and drinks and all this. And because I knew we were probably going to be drinking and we'd probably go out after dinner, I just went ahead and got a hotel room. Because obviously, don't drink and drive, kids. It's like literally not even cool. If we're gonna be drinking at all when we go out, I get a hotel room, make sure there's Uber. Like if they're, if we're local, Uber, you know, we don't need a hotel room. But because Philly's like 15 minutes away from our house, you never know what the Uber situation's gonna be. I was like, let's just get a room and it'll be part of our little like anniversary weekend. So we had the best time. We went to dinner, went out, blah, blah, blah. Um, I got like no sleep. And then the next morning I had a seizure in the hotel and it was awful. And apparently it was one of my worst. I have no recollection of it, but Alok said it was really, really, really bad. So it took me about two to three days to fully come back from the seizure. I still, oh, my tongue. Uh, you probably noticed I'm talking a little weird and I hope you don't see my tongue. Um, but I always bite my lips or my tongue and I got, I got my tongue good this time. So it's a little little sore, a little raw still, and I hope you don't see it because I'm really embarrassed. So that's where I was this whole past week. Ugh. And then something else. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I bought this as well, I have not used it yet. I know it's not new, 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 new. Um, but geez, like, you know, there's so much new makeup all the time. You know, don't feel pressured to buy all the new makeup. Get it when you can, like when you, you know, have the pockets to do so. But YouTube has, social media in general, has this funny way of making you feel like you need stuff now, 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 now. That's why I try to say in my ColourPop videos, you know, if you have the means, it's nice to have. If you don't, you know, no worries. There's other great makeup out there or use what you have at home because I, I don't like this, this monster. I feel like the beauty community has kind of created of like, bye, 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 bye. Like, save your money, please. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this concealer. I feel like it just brightened. How fantastic is this? Have you guys used this yet? I really like it. Anyway, so that was the beginning of this past week. I was just trying to recover and rest. And a few things after my seizures, my speech is always really bad. And I'm not even kidding you. My eyes are like literally misshapen. It is the weirdest thing, but they don't look right. <laughs> so it's a little soon. And then also sometimes I have a, a lip or a tongue injury. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long to talk. It's just because I miss you guys. So let me blend this in and set it and we will move on and I will tell you about the other half of this really horrible week. Okay, finally, I want to get to the eyes because I'm so excited to try some stuff. First off, I want to take the Charlotte Tilbury. There's this dual headed eyeliner and one side is the Super Nudes Liner Duo Enhanced Magnifier. Looks to be a brown shade. And I want to smoke this out along the lash line. Okay, so for the second half of my terrible week, about a month ago, we noticed that Bio, sorry, Leo, 
our youngest kitty Leo, we call him Bio. I don't know why. We call Luca Books. We call Leo Bio. It, you know how pet nicknames go. They're weird and they come out of nowhere and for some reason they stick. I'm also taking a little smudgy brush. This is the Sigma Domed Utility E34. I'm going to blend that into the lash line. We noticed that he was losing weight, which we were happy about because we've changed all the cat's diets and exercise routines and, um, you know, play times because they were a little chonky at their last appointment, their last little checkups, a little chonky. They were like, let's keep an eye on the weight. So we noticed that Leo was losing weight. We were like, oh my gosh, yay, our little plan's working. I mean, they all really were, but we really noticed it on him right away. So whatever, we're like thinking everything's working. And then it seemed like it was just happening at too fast of a rate for just changing diet and playtime because they never really overate. It just, I don't think it was the best food choices. So we were like, this is weird. Let's just uh, have the vet come and, you know, check him out. So checked him out. Everything kind of looked normal. They were like, yeah, he is losing a bit of weight. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Blood tests and everything came back normal. However, Alok, being the best cat dad in the world, was getting really worried that maybe it was diabetes. Just because, you know, when you're a parent or an animal parent and you become a WebMD doctor, that's kind of what was going on. So he was like, I'm really worried it's going to be diabetes. But blood tests and everything came back fine. So long story short, he was still losing weight and we noticed he started peeing a whole lot more. Sorry if that's TMI, but it was definitely, it was a noticeable change. And we were like, oh my God, like, Something is going on. So we scheduled and we do, I don't know if you guys have a house of paws in your area or if you have a mobile vet, if any of your pets have some type of trauma from being at the vet, um, it is amazing. It is expensive, but Leo had such a hard time at his last vet visit that we just couldn't, we did not want to take him back there. So if you have the means, I strongly recommend it. Um, he's so afraid of the vet. And then he comes back and he smells weird, so the cats hiss at him and stuff, and it's just a horrible experience. All right, let me do this other eye, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so eyeliner is all smudged in. I'm so excited to try this. This is the eye paint from About Face in the shade Fractal, which always makes me think of Frozen. Actually, no, I want to take two of the colors. Oh, I wish there was more of a cobalt blue one. What color is this? I was feeling inspired by my shirt. I love these color combos, which <sighs> I do not like to support fast fashion, me personally. This shirt is from Fashion Nova. I received a gift card. I still feel weird about it. I used the gift card, got a few t-shirts. I really don't like fast fashion and I've been trying to avoid fast fashion, Amazon, like all that type of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? So I need to do more research into how Fashion Nova is making their clothes who's designing them, who's literally physically making them, and and how their employees are treated and just all this stuff. If it doesn't matter to you, that's fine. It just, it matters to me. But anyway, I was feeling inspired by this shirt color combo, this kind of tan with the blue. I thought that was pretty. So I kind of wanted to try something like that on the eyes. Ugh, I don't think this is dark enough. We'll give it a go. This is above Santorini, this blue one here. These are the eye paints. And they're shimmery, which is super fun. Are these old news? Can you please let me know? Because I have, I think, most of the shades and I would love to do eye swatches. I also have uh, some of the lip colors, so I would love to do a whole video on these products. But if they're old news to you, just let me know and I won't do it. But I would really like to. All right, so let's take this blue one first on this outer half. I'm starting small because, whoa, I don't know how these work. So back to what I was saying. We noticed things seemed to be changing and getting a little worse. He was peeing like crazy and he seemed really thirsty. And I was like, oh my God, Alok, I think you're right. I think it's happening. So the vet came back out. We did more blood tests and my poor little baby has diabetes. But I will say, we and if you think something's wrong, obviously get your animals looked at as soon as possible because we caught it in time where they strongly feel that we can reverse it and we won't have to give them the insulin and they said possibly three months even which which is still much longer than I would like it to be but whatever we have to give him two little insulin um shots every day and it's not bad he's doing good actually he's doing good but anyway that added to this week we had to do a lot get his medicine and have the vet come back and show us how to administer and all that stuff. So if, by the way, if any of you have an animal with um, diabetes, please 
uh, leave me a little comment. I would appreciate hearing from you. I'd appreciate hearing what works, what doesn't. I mean, we're obviously just doing what our vet told us to, but if you guys have any tips, because I don't know, I guess I don't even know what I'm looking for. This is pretty. I'm sure we're not the only ones who've had an animal go through this, and I'm just so glad it was caught soon enough to where they think it's definitely going to be reversible in not that long of time. And he stopped losing weight and he stopped peeing like crazy recently, especially when we changed the food over. Again, now we do grain free and pea free, like little peas, which is something I hadn't heard a lot about, but our vet like strongly recommended going pea free. I can't remember the exact reason, so that was the other part of this horrible week. But I'm back, my room is done, it is so clean and organized and I love this background, my new background. I, I definitely feel much better about it. Oh, these are, this is a fractal collection and this is the shade Fracture, this brown one. I'm so sorry about that. I'm wondering how I feel about this packaging. <laughs> I'm unsure. I suppose if it's like too big for you, you could always just snip since it's very obvious where the product is. I suppose you could always just snip it around. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. But I will say, I freaking love the About Face products. That is definitely another favorite newer brand of mine. And I'm just popping this on the inner half. I'm sure I'll be asked because I missed what, to me at least, looked like some of the better collections we've had in a while um, from ColourPop. Yes, I will be doing live swatches on the few collections that I missed over like, cheese Louise, it was only two weeks and it feels like I missed like a year's worth of collections. But they were ones that I was really excited for personally. I had seen a few kind of early and I was really, really excited for them to come out and for everyone to see them. And so I would think I would feel weird not doing swatches of them. I, I imagine they're probably old news for you. Real quick on the lower lash line, I just want to smudge in more of this brown liner. I also just want to take a little bit of fracture on the lower lash line. I hope it'll work just fine there. I hate how thick I made that bottom lash line. So I'm going to try and blend it out with this, if that makes sense, or smoke it out more, but it'll diffuse it because it's more reflective. Just smudging it with my finger. Did that do anything at all or did it make it worse? I can't tell. I can't tell. This video was really just about catching up and talking to you guys about everything that's been going on with me. Also regarding my seizures and everything, I don't know if this is a, I hope it's not a controversial topic, but I can't take my seizure medication. It's the worst. And so I am applying for a medical marijuana card. I do not smoke marijuana at this point in my life. I used to a lot. Oh my god, can I tell you guys something really funny and so sad? Because of the whole like, you know, if you grew up in like a public school system or any school system, I suppose, there was like dare week and it was like about weed and about like all these horrible stories about marijuana. And so when I was like around probably 18 to 20 years old, I was smoking weed a lot. I remember specifically making this YouTube video where I was crying and I was like confessing <laughs> that, uh, because I've always dealt with anxiety and depression, definitely. Um, and marijuana helped with me, helped that, helped me with that at the time. And I, <laughs> I made this like video confession and I was like, I've, you know, I've been using drugs and I was just, you know, just because I was just trying to talk about like how I was dealing with my depression and anxiety and that I was like ashamed that I was using drugs and I was just smoking weed and I hate that I put that out there on the internet. I wish I would have specified in that video. I've never done another drug in my life, but in that video, I'm so, it's just so cringe. I think back on it like literally all the time. And I'm like, oh my god, people probably thought, like, who knows what I was doing. And I was just smoking weed. And I, but, but we were so crazy brainwashed growing up about the gateway drug. I mean, it was, it's crazy. And then here I was, I felt sick with guilt that I should have ever tried it, that I ever tried it. But anyway, long story short, now that it is legalized in New Jersey, um, I do just want to get a medical card because I really, I don't like to feel out of control. I don't even, anymore, it's like, it's few and far between that I'll be drunk. I love a drink here and there, but to actually, for me to get drunk, it's like a one-off type of thing. And then I won't do it again for a few more months. Um, and I don't like to feel just out of control. I don't, later in life. 
So I want to get one of those pens that's mostly CBD because I love CBD for my seizures, but I feel like I also want to add a little bit more of that other stuff in there. Is this video going to get taken down? Am I allowed to say these things? I've been reading a lot of blogs and Reddit pages of other people with epilepsy saying that this pen and this combo really worked for them to get off this specific medication that I'm on because this medication is the worst. It is life ruining, in my opinion. Maybe it's life saving for other people, but it causes weight gain, extreme irritability, depression, um, and what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, bouts of rage. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so funny, I had actually stopped taking my medication because it just, I wasn't feeling good. It was making me feel awful. I went on an antibiotic because I had a sinus infection and I'm an idiot and I had them both in my bag and I was taking, I was literally mixing my seizure medication up with my antibiotic. I wasn't intending to take the seizure medication anymore because I had already stopped taking it. I was weaned off it and everything. And I was accidentally taking that instead of my antibiotic and I was having extreme anger problems. Like, like crazy, crazy. Like Alok and I definitely bicker every now and again. We'll get in a little like lover spat, but it's never like a, like a fight, like a I hate you, I'm done type of fight. And I was getting close. I was getting so mean. And Alok was like, it was like over the smallest things. And he was like, are you okay? Come to find out. I look at the bottles. My antibiotic was full. <laughs> and my seizure med medication I had been going through for a week. It was insane. Anyway, so that's, that's another little life update that I'm planning to switch to soon. I actually have an appointment coming up with the doctor. I know I could just get it, but I really want to have the, the card itself so that I can go and talk to somebody about it um, and see what they can mix up for me because I don't want anything that will just make me feel stoned. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I really don't. But just something that I can take before bed since my seizures are primarily in the evening and overnight or early, early morning. Fingers crossed. I'm really hoping that helps. Let me know if you guys use one of those cards at all. If you feel like it, don't feel like you have to. Oh, I'm just using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. What a throwback. I love this eye makeup color combination and I love these freaking little shadows, but I hate this shape I did on my eyes. It's not the right shape for me to do. So just know that I hate this makeup look, but only because of the shape that I did and not because of the product itself. I hate my technique. Okay, also from Charlotte Tilbury, I have the Nude Gasm Face Palette, and I want to know if this comes in more than one shade, and I hope it does. They look so light to me. I hope they have more shades, Charlotte. Oh my god. I just finished Schitt's Creek. I hated Schitt's Creek. I tried to, I tried to watch it several times. I would get to like episode three, and I was like, no. I don't like this at all. I don't get the hype. And my sister will not stop talking about it. Every time I see her, she talks about Shit's Creek. So I was like, fine, fine. I'm like recovering from my seizure. Let me just lay down and burn through this. Okay, I'm gonna go into this guy here. Just do a bit of, oh, oh. That packed a lot more pigment than I thought to the naked eye. How dare I doubt Charlotte. That's really nice, actually. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And I applied it like an idiot because I thought, ugh, I thought it was going to be more sheer. Anyway, I was like, let me just give it a solid go again because it's all anyone talks about. I got through it in a week. I literally finished it last night. I watched the finale last night and it is so good. It is so good. And now I find myself trying to talk like Moira and I'm like, I have to keep reminding myself to stop <laughs> because it's insane and I can't quite nail it. I think that's why I keep attempting it. But Moira is just, is she not everything? I mean, oh my god, the the way she says things and her reactions, what gets me every time is when she screams. Like, when she just screams, like, <laughs> at the most absurd things, it kills me. It literally kills me. And you know what's so funny is that Alok wanted to watch Schitt's Creek so bad, and we're that annoying couple who watches every show together. I'd been telling him, no, 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 I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, because we'd watched several, well, I would say we had watched probably around three to four episodes, just like on Comedy Central, not even like in direct order, and I was like, no. And then I finally said, yes, okay, let's watch it, because I'm sick of everyone loving this damn show. So we're going through it, and he doesn't like it, and I love it now. So now I'm begging him to like, please sit down and just watch the whole thing with me because 
Because <laughs> I want him to like it. It's so funny. But I, every single character is just so sublime. Such a good show. I'm sad it's over. I wanted more. Like, I'm not done with them. For Blush, I don't even think they make this anymore. And I hope not because I think the name is grotesque. I don't even want to say it. But this is Kylie Cosmetics. I don't even want to say it. Barely legal blush. I think it was part of like her 21 year old birthday or something. I don't know. But I think that is just the most horrible name. I like the blush, but the name is so cringe and so awful. I mean, like, anyway. I'll get off my little, my little preachy boxy for, for today. You know how much I love to be up there. <laughs> but it's highly inappropriate. Like, seriously, that's not cool. Anyway, I'm done. I missed you guys so much. I'm so happy to be back. I am finally back. Back for good. My TV just turned on by itself. That is so weird. Anyway, this is just a part of me trying to use up the makeup I have. Because all I ever do is try new, 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 and it just sits around. Now I'm taking the first highlighter in this palette. This is the F37 brush from Sigma. This is a nice little glow. Oh, also, can we talk about my lighting? Do you guys like it? When I did this new setup, I also revisited all my camera settings and things and also my lights um, because I wanted it to stop looking so freaking like white, 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 white because I would be editing and everything just looks so bright and I hated it. I wanted a more natural, like warmer glow. I'm like, let me stop trying to be every other YouTuber and just do what I like. And I like it to look more natural like this as opposed to so bright. This is a lovely little glow. I like it a lot. I like it a little too much. I'm kind of going crazy over here. These earrings, by the way, I bought in bulk on eBay. So I have no idea where they came from originally. But just look up wicker earrings. I have like 100 pairs. You can find them anywhere. For lips, I'm going to take this uh, Laura Mercier Plumberry Lip Liner. Ooh. It looks more coral on my hand than plum. But that name scares me. Let's give it a shot. See if it's super plummy. I think it's going to work for the lip I've planned. Gosh, I seriously feel like I have so much more to tell you and I can't remember any of it. I'm just really excited to be back filming. I'm excited that I finally have a background that I love and feels like me and feels like everything I like. I'm also stupidly excited to open my Etsy shop soon. I really wanted it to be by the end of September and now I think it's going to be closer to the end of October. Just because I want to make sure that everything is nice and perfect. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Catwalking. I thought it would pop with the blue nicely and kind of tie into my shirt theme I had going on. We'll see. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury knows how to make a lipstick. Is this too much with the eyes? It kind of is, isn't it? I think it's definitely a little too much, but just for the sake of makeup playtime, I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with it. I kind of like it, but it's a little much. I won't lie. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I missed you so, so much. I'm so excited to be back, back in my element, and I'm feeling better than ever. I just want to say that I know that I've been a shitty YouTuber this year, and I just want to say I really envy and I applaud all the other creators who have been able to just stay on course through the throughout this pandemic and throughout things going on, because it's been more of a struggle for me than I expected. Definitely, like, right at the end of, de of uh, quarantine, I didn't realize how depressed I was until I realized that I wasn't even really filming anymore, and I didn't, I wasn't looking at social media anymore. I wasn't doing anything anymore. I was, like, just sitting and lost in my mind, and it was awful, and I'm just, I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm really excited to be back, and I'm going to stop letting you down, and I'm sorry that I've let you down. Sometimes, I won't lie, it, it will be hard sometimes if I don't get my seizures under control in the near future. That is one factor that really is out of my control. It takes at least, at the very least, a day to recover after one. I know I randomly have a large audience that also has epilepsy. Every time I talk about it, my comments are filled with people who go through the same thing and you understand how hard it is to bounce back after. Um, so I just want to say I see you. Thank you for sharing your stories with me. Um, it feels really nice to know that, you know, other people get it because it's hard to explain. So I'm hoping I just get that under control and this is going to be no issue. But, you know, shit happens. Um, but 
right now I feel good. I'm excited to be back. I plan on having a new video up every single day for the rest of the week. Probably the next three, four, possibly five days I'll have a video up every single day. I filmed one yesterday. I filmed one right now. I'm going to film one right after this because um, I have a ton of live swatches to get through and some other stuff to play with and I'm just excited to be back and I hope you guys are excited and thank you for being here. After all this time, thank you for being here because I know I'm the worst. Um, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!